What you guys got another mini desktop PC here for you from the Minis Forum. This one is the UM300. This has a Ryzen processor inside. That is right. It's got a Ryzen processor in here, which means it's pretty powerful. We've got an AMD Ryzen 3 3300U, which is a mobile uh, APU. Also, base clock is 2.1 gigahertz up to 3.5 gigahertz. Does have the Vega 6 graphics on this processor. This is everything you can expect to get inside the box. Your instruction manual is pretty straightforward and easy to set up uh, if you've not used one of these little mini PCs before. Also inside the kit, you're going to get your plug, which is your kettle lead, we call them over here. It's a UK plug with a fuse. Also the kettle side adapter on this end here. If you live in another country, you'll get an adapter to suit your needs for your country. You've got your power brick, you've got your barrel connector on this end there is the brick with the cable and also that is where your plug will plug into on the we have the VESA uh, mount now you can mount this straight to the back of a monitor or a tv which what i would recommend because it makes it nice and invisible and you can just basically mount it to there or screw it to the wall whatever you want to do it goes on the back of this little mini pc and it just keeps it out of the way you've got your screws here as well You've got a HDMI cable and a DP cable here, which is your display port cable. So you can use either one of these, which gives you dual monitor uh, support. This is the actual unit itself. Very small and compact little mini PC. Also has loads of upgradability on this one. So we've got the microphone here. We have a type C uh, port here, which is very nice as well. We got the USB 3.1. We've got two ports on the front here. Uh, Gen 2 and Gen 1 here on the front. Also, we have our headphone, which is our audio. Also, our power button. And that is the uh, front of the device. So let's take a look at the side of the uh, device here, and we'll take a look here. So there's nothing on this side here, just some ventilation here to let the heat out. On the back of the unit, we do have another two USB 3.1 ports here, which are the blue ones here. We also have our DP and HDMI port and two gigabit, one gigabit ports here for your ethernet and your power port and your uh, Kensington lock. This is where your exhaust heat will come out and also at the sides as well. Very nice compact little unit here. These two buttons here will take the top off the unit, which is a really nice unique style to this little mini PC. On the bottom, we have some more ventilation here and that VESA mount area here which you can actually mount this to the wall or to a monitor, which is what I'd advise you to do, because this would, that makes it completely invisible uh, to the naked eye. So let's go ahead and take a look at opening this up and have a look inside so you can see what it actually looks like. I do actually like this little mini PC. This company who make these mini PCs are making some of the best mini PCs on the market, in my honest opinion. So let's take a look here. We just push these two little buttons here, and this lifts off the top area here, which gives us access to the inside of our mini PC. So let's take a closer look inside here. So you noticed here, we do have a SATA M.2 uh, drive in here as well. Now this doesn't support NVMe. Uh, it just supports the SATA only uh, inside here. So if you're looking to upgrade to NVMe, unfortunately that is not going to be possible with this unit, but it's still a very good uh, unit with that SSD in here. We've got the heatsink here, which will cover the VRMs, which will keep it nice and cool as well. And inside here, you'll see this little cable here. And this is in case you want to put more storage, i.e. an SSD in here. You can put a SSD inside here as well, which will give you plenty of storage in here. Now, this unit does come with a eight gigabyte DDR4 2400 megahertz ram and there's also another slot here which makes it possible to put 16 gigabytes in here which will give you then dual channel which i would advise you to do so let's take a look at the version of windows by typing winver we can see it's got version 2004 when it ships from the factory this unit does support wi-fi 6 ax200 and also bluetooth 5.1 pre-built into the unit itself, which gives you good capability of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You can see here the Ryzen 3 3300U, and it also has Windows 10 Pro activated on this unit here as well. So let's take a look at the task manager here. You can see the CPU here with the Vega mobile graphics. 
it is updating at the moment so there's a bit of utilization use here but it is updating in the background let's take a look at the memory 2400 megahertz of one of two uh, slots available on this uh, unit as well here and we have that disc on there which is a kensington uh, disc on there as well so that is the uh, task manager here we're going to do some gaming and also some other tests on here um, if you're looking for the bios you can get into the bios this is what you can expect with your bios so you can upgrade the graphics here to two gigabytes so that'll be two gigabytes of vega graphics which we're going to give uh, this little pc now obviously we're running eight gigs on a single channel i'd advise you to get another eight gig stick to make it 16 gigabytes dual channel memory which for a better experience so let's run a CPU benchmark here. Single core gives you 783 on Geekbench and also 2,311 on the multi-core score because this does have four cores, four threads. Having a look at the uh, overall benchmark here, we've got the 7,124 on Geekbench. Looking at Crystal Disk Info, you can see the read and write speeds are listed on the screen, which isn't too shabby for a little mini PC, but I've seen better ones with NVMe support. Looking at the thermals here, so thermals for the CPU under idle, you can see pretty decent as well, nice and cool. Some of these do run a bit hot, but this one seems to run pretty cool. So a nice uh, thermals for a little device like this. Let's play 4K content here as well. So you've got 4K support, uh, which is a really nice added bonus. Also, if you like to do 4K content on YouTube, you can stream 4K content down as well on this little mini PC. Mini PCs have come on a long way. If you want to use it for Plex, that's also a possibility as well. Now, what about gaming? Well, you can play Global Offensive CSGO, which is a pretty impressive feat for a little mini PC. They've come on leaps and bounds with these little PCs. And again, it also plays at Grand Theft Auto 05 as well with reduced settings, but it will play those games, which makes it a very powerful little mini PC. So if you're in the market for a mini PC that does a bit of everything, then this little mini PC might be for you. I'll leave all the information in the video description if you're interested in these little mini PCs, which should cover all of your needs for your PC. Now, if you're interested in giveaways, I will be doing a giveaway on my Discord server tonight at 6 o'clock UK time. So you want to get there at 5.45 UK time and basically go over there and read the announcements. You can also read the terms and conditions of the giveaway and then join the giveaway room. You don't need a microphone, uh, but basically you need to be in this room to be entered in the giveaway. The prizes are listed here. We'll do a bunch of different giveaways. If this is successful, I'll be doing some more in the future. So stay tuned for those. I shall see you over there a little bit later on tonight. Just want to say a big special thanks also to my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. So thank you very much. Have a great weekend. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now.